Hello Virgo and welcome to your October reading. Uh, we're going to shortly get into this but I just want to make note that these readings are general and timeless. So if these messages are called out to you, understand that they are your messages regardless of time. Um, you also need to check your sun, moon, and rising sign as well. So let's get right into it. So what is going on with Berg? One sec. One sec. Got the Seven of Cups in reverse. And we got the Seven of Wands. I'm sorry, Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. So, looks like someone has options and is walking away. So this could be your energy or the energy of the person in your vicinity. Or this could be, and this is intuitively, so reading these cards also this is someone who is how can I say determined to get what they want. So, but it almost has a, it has an interesting energy to it because it's almost like someone sneaking, sneaking away. I get this sneaky energy, but sneaking away to get what they want. Sneaking away to, maybe this needs to be hidden for some reason. But I don't think it's, it's it, I, there's betrayal to it. So I don't think there is, it, it's, let's see what's going on here. Barb, what are you doing? What is some, who is this? Is this you or someone in your energy? Do you feel betrayed by someone? Or does someone feel betrayed by you? For, are you having to apologize for getting what you want? We got the King of Cups. So, you know it. You know what you want. You know what you want. And you may have to protect that. Because I'm not exactly sure why I have this, like I'm seeing this sneaky, like sort of, I have to betray, maybe I have to betray someone to get what I want. Is that what that is? Or is that someone that's doing this to you? Someone is, is so we got the seven of pentacles in reverse. So someone is no longer, no longer wanting to sort of wait and plan on what they want. They are just like, I feel that either you or this other person is like, I'm just going for it. I'm just going for it. I'm going for what I want. I'm going for my goals, my ambitions, what do I want, what I want to invest in, but it's not, it's like, it's not going fast enough. It feels like this, whatever you want or whatever this person wants from you is not going fast enough. So, um, but whatever it is, there's options on the table. So you have options or this other person has options and it, it, I just feel that I feel like someone is just impatient. I feel like there's an energy of impatience and just wanting to just, I need this now. I want this now. I just need to get this now. I don't like, they're not willing to 
or you're not willing to trust this process, there's some doubt. You might have questions in your mind like, why is this going the way it is? I am sick or tired of waiting. This is not going in you know, my favor. You know, I feel like I have to defend myself. You know, I feel like I have to, you know, remain silent. I feel like it's like it's a one man show. But just know that you are supported, that regardless of what you're going through right now or what this person in your energy or whatever, the fluid cross watcher or whatever, but just know that the, the God in the universe is supporting you right now. And if you are in an energy where someone is taking away from you and treating you in a way that is not cohesive to who you are, you need to set boundaries. You, you need to let them know who you are. I think you forgot who you are. Remember who you are. We, you know, our relationships with others is self-care. That's, you know, what I have to say. It's, you know, I agree, get what you want. But I don't agree with people having to to stab people in the back lie, you know, cheat. It's just, it's not a good energy to be in, you know, and, but you know what you want. Virgo, you know what you want. You go, you are a go-getter. Virgos are go-getters, man. They are just, they are workaholics. Virgos are workaholics. You guys are, you know, always employed, always doing some sort of job, you know, always helping people. You're like, you're service to other, others. You are, you know, that is who you are. So there's no doubt you're going to get what you want. You know, I wouldn't doubt a Virg <laughs> if I were you. They're going to get what they want. Um, but, you know, you're definitely focusing on your money you're you're interested in filling your own cup that's what it is you are interested in filling your own cup no one else's cup right now you're interested in filling your own so you got to do whatever you need to do to get your own cup so let's pull a um advice card let's see close it out what we got advice for Virgo Hey. Mm. I like this one. Women who are driven do not hesitate leaving those who are parked. Again, women or men who are driven do not hesitate leaving those who are parked. Listen, you you ain't stopping for no one, okay? You are getting what we want. You're getting what you you want, you know. You are it's pedal to the metal, you know, you, so stay in that energy. This is, but, you know, be mindful of the people around you and, you know, communicate and trust your instincts, um, follow your guides um, and just be well, you know, this is, this is October. We're approaching the last few months of the year. You need to think about, um, Think about your decisions and think about those who are uh, helping you grow because growth is important. But, you know, you're doing what you want to do. Um, and I feel like you are you are destined to get what you want. And I think my advice is to don't stop until it's yours. All right. All right. Thank you, Virgo. Um, I hope these messages resonated with you. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Please show your girl some support. Thank you. I love you. You're very much appreciated and good luck to you. All right. Thanks, Virgo. All right. See you guys later.